that was very important to the drama or the dramatic part of Ramlila. The uh, Vyant, when he came to an important or a dramatic or an especially emotional scene in Ramlila, he would shout Tasa and the drums would begin to beat. That was especially in a scene that was either a fight scene, especially with Hanuman, the Tata would really play, or if it was an auspicious occasion, like the wedding of Sita and Rama, the Tata would begin to play. So the Tata was something that indicated, all right, audience, pay attention, this is really important. Then another thing that was uh, characteristic of these Ramlilas in Trinidad was the idea of having a very elaborate effigy of Robin. Because on the very last night when Robin was killed in battle by Ram, the person who played Robin would set up the acting so that at the point that he died, he would be right next to the huge effigy of Ravan. And when he died, he would slip away, and then they would set that effigy of Ravan on fire. Now, the other interesting thing about Ravan in Trinidad, and this is probably true in some Ramilas that you've seen, they always used the effigy of Ravan to make fun of people who were oppressing them. For example, there were some Ramans that used to wear that sola topi during the British period, that sola topi, because they saw the British planters that ran the plantation as Ramanas. And then later on, in, when uh, Trinidad became an independent country called Trinidad and Tobago, uh, there was a prime minister who made some very negative comments about Indians, and uh, he were a uh, There was an American air base that was established in Trinidad, and lots of Americans were coming in, and people were saying, "Oh, these Americans are are Americanizing Trinidad the schools." So they set up schools all over, and the Indian parents um, realized that they only would educate non-Christians up to the end of primary school. In the late 1940s, a coalition of Muslims and Hindus um, who were in Trinidad, through, starting in about the mid-50s, you had seven, ten, and then eventually 23 Hindu schools that started. And then these children who had been living only in Bojpuri villages began to get education in English. The more English they learned, when you get to the 60s, 70s, 80s, the young children really don't understand the chanting of the Ram Lila. They play, they meet with their friends, and they gossip, and they go to the Mela, and you know, they play, but they didn't like or understand Ram Lila anymore. Once they started to get educated and move into professions, they ended up going and getting jobs in the cities.